Hello everyone, it's Paige and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing a day in the life vlog. You guys have been requesting this for a while now and I thought since every day is very different for me that I would start doing more of these. This is a bit of a an interesting Monday. So I got in very late last night, or I guess technically this morning, from Augusta, Georgia at like 1 a.m. I'm tired. Normally when I'm home, Mondays are full content days for me. So I will wake up really early in the morning, do full hair and makeup, and knock almost everything out that I have to get done for the week. Uh, normally, I also am traveling throughout the week, which I am doing this week. So uh, this Monday, I need to do some laundry. I have to do my podcast. We're going to recap the Masters. It's going to be a really great episode, which I'm excited for. Um, make the bed, work out. I have to tan. I am pale, and that's why content day is moving to tomorrow because um, it just doesn't look right on camera. And you guys always point things out um, when I'm tan, when not tan, or, or when my nails are not done, or when my roots are not perfect. And so there is a lot of pressure to look like perfect all the time. And so I always have a Sunday night routine where I will just basically like, I will do full tanning. Um, normally I'll, ha I'll get my nails done every like two to three weeks. They're very cute right now. I am loving them. I will wash my hair, um, dry it, style it, uh, Sunday night, everything I will do uh, Sunday night normally because I am up really early, but I ain't gonna do any of that. So that is why I'm doing that tonight. <laughs> so Condon Day is now on Tuesday. So let's just, let's start my day. One. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Playing Realm podcast. We had a pretty magical week at Augusta, Georgia. We're going to recap the Masters for you. I mean, Sam, I, I'm tired. I realize how exhausting golf tournaments can be. How are you feeling? Podcast is now done. I think it was a really great episode. I don't actually talk about my podcast much anywhere but it's called Playing Around with Paige Renee, and you can find it anywhere that you listen to your podcast. We're actually doing a fun Augusta giveaway, so you should go look into that um, because I spent so much money on fun things for you guys for this giveaway, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. Next up, um, so that was the only content that I had to do. I think I have to do maybe a couple IG stories at some point, but um, again, a light content day for me. And I'm filming this YouTube video and this counts as content. So uh, yeah, that's that. <laughs> um, now the worst part, I gotta start laundry. I had so much laundry too, because I was there for a while. And again, I am leaving soon, so I have to, unpack, do laundry, and then pack up again. And I know this is first world problems, but this is the least favorite thing that, oh, I hate unpacking, packing, and doing laundry and folding. It just, it's, I dislike it so much. And it's probably because I have to do it all the time because I'm traveling almost every single week. And I know I can't complain because it's fun to travel and I do really cool things, but God, I really hate packing and unpacking and laundry. So let's get started with that. I also need to eat at some point. Um, I have been trying to do intermittent fasting. And so I don't eat until about 11 or 12 and then stop at like six or seven. And that's what I've been doing lately. I do like it. I've also been trying to up my protein because I've been trying to um, gain a little bit more muscle. And I feel really good about kind of where my body is at right now. I could definitely lean up just slightly, but I am enjoying being curvier. And this is a, a much easier a weight that I can maintain. I could be leaner, but it's just no way to live life. It, it, for me, at least. It, I can't maintain it 
because I'm traveling so much and I go to so many cool places, I want to enjoy myself and I want to, like I'm a, like I was at the Masters, you think I'm not gonna have a peach ice cream sandwich? Yeah, no, no thank you. I'm gonna have my egg salad sandwich. I'm going to try everything and I'm going to enjoy myself because life is too short and I would much rather be happier and have experiences than be you know, five to seven pounds leaner. And that's just not something that I can maintain with my lifestyle and for my own personal happiness. So we have all the laundry here. Um, it's a little bit more because I'm doing my boyfriend's laundry as well. Um, yes, I do have a boyfriend. <laughs> uh, he works crazy hours and he works a lot. So uh, we work just, I'm gonna sit on the laundry. <laughs> uh, we work crazy hours. So um, what we do with just like the house chores is whoever is <laughs> busier, um, the other person will pick up some of the slack. So if I'm traveling a ton and I don't have time to do laundry, he'll do my laundry as well as his and vice versa. And so it's really nice um, to be with someone who like really understands uh, a hectic schedule and knowing that, you know, we, we help each other out when we can. So uh, today I am on laundry duty. So while I'm sorting out um, my clothes, I thought I would just talk to you a little bit about the masters. If you've been there, you know how special it is. And if you haven't, here are some things that um, I was surprised about. I've been lucky enough to go three times, but every single time it gets a little bit better. First off, uh, just how well run it is. It is a well-oiled machine. It's like Disney World for golf. They have um, these perfect merch areas. Like everything has just been perfectly calculated to enhance your experience. And so that's something that's really fun. Obviously, it's there's a ton of people there, it's packed, but you never really feel like you're waiting too long because again, they just know how to work everyone around. Two, it's very hilly. It's a very hilly golf course. You can't really tell by looking at looking at it on TV, but it, it's such a difficult walk. So be prepared for that. Wear your walking shoes, um, know that it's a hard walk and there's tons and tons of hills. So if you even wanna do some walking to prepare yourself before to like get you ready to walk Augusta, you definitely should do it. Uh, number three, there's not a blade of grass out of place. Um, everything is pristine, absolutely perfect. The golf course is gorgeous. Uh, I saw a leaf on the ground and I looked over here for a second and I looked back and the leaf was gone. I don't know where the leaf went. It wasn't there anymore. Like, it's it's like a very special place. Um, another thing is the, the prices at the concession stand. That's always a, like a, a crowd favorite. Like you get a sandwich for like $1.50, beer for like $5. They never change the prices. It's very reasonable, probably because they know you're gonna spend like <laughs> insane amount on uh, Augusta merch, but it is so worth it. Um, how respectful all of the golf fans are and how cool it is to experience a golf course or a golf tournament, sorry, um, with no cell phones. So you're not allowed to have any cell phones on property. And it's a little weird at first, the first day when I was out there on Wednesday, I, like every two seconds I was like going to grab my phone. And then by Sunday, I didn't even think about it once. And it was actually quite refreshing to not have it or not feel like I, it was like a, a, a crutch almost to always be on my phone or to have my phone. And when you put your phone away, you lift your head up and you start talking to people and uh, met so many really cool people at the tournament. And you are just so present and in the moment. And I think that's also what makes it so special because you don't have your you know, your head in your phone thinking about what you're gonna post next or what you're going to do. You're just enjoying the day and enjoying the people around you and enjoying the event. So it, it's difficult at first, but it's actually quite relaxing and nice to be able to just be present and not worry about, you know, posting or pictures or, you know, all of that. Uh, it's awesome and I really hope everyone gets to experience it. Okay, so just did one load of laundry and while I was doing that, I did a Q&A on IG and those are so much fun. I'm trying to do more of those and I think right now I'm going to hang some clothes up, put them in the dryer, go work out, get some food, and I think that might be all for today. So thank you guys so much for following along on my vlog. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, like this video, you already know what to do, and I'll see you guys next Thursday.